Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Walter Hanich of Signature Resources. How are you today, Walter? I'm very well, thank you. So for all of our Investor Intel audience members out there, they may not be familiar with what an interesting historical location that Signature is. Can you give us kind of an overview? Sure, Tracy. The, the property is uh, historical in that it was explored and developed over a period of 40 years uh, up until the late 80s where a resource was defined of about 234,000 ounces. And of course, this property is in Ontario, the Lingman Lake property, is that correct? That's correct. It's in Ontario. It's uh, very close to the Ontario-Manitoba border. And in fact, uh, the uh, Winter Road access in the past has been from the Manitoba side. You know, Walter, I read an article about you, and of course you have quite a career yourself. And this Lingman property, you know, in the late 80s, they were so gung-ho. I mean, why did they stop, and, and why are you picking this up again? I mean, you, you have quite a career. Why are you picking this property, Walter? Well, we're picking it up because we recognize the potential. In the late 80s, the failure wasn't geological. It was financial. When the equity markets dried up in the early 90s, the company couldn't finance the project to the next level. So why in 2003, 2004, when the gold boom happened again, why didn't anyone pick it up then? Because there were a lot of deals that happened in approximately a 100-kilometer radius. Well, it was embroiled in litigation, to be quite frank. Okay, so you're saying Signature is free now. You've gone back in. You've put quite the team together. And, of course, the drilling results you just put out, I mean, I'm not a professional. You tell me, Walter, about these drilling results. Okay, I'm going to tell you about the results there. They're actually uh, resampling and relogging of archive core that was drilled back in the 80s. So our results uh, mimic and, to a large extent, confirm the data and the results from the 1980s, which in itself speaks of a high-grade gold deposit. I was reading that this is a very unique gold deposit with the type of vein that it is. Is that correct? I mean, I correct me here, Walter. Well, it, it is unique in, in, in one sense that uh, there are several stacked zones, and which makes it easy for us as geologists or explorationists to drill. And given the amount of information that we have on the property, we can focus that exploration drilling to expand the resource. Uh, Walter, I understand that you've been involved in a number of major deals over the years. And what is most exciting about this particular gold find for you as a geologist? The most exciting thing about the Lingman Lake property itself is the fact that it's underexplored and it's got this huge potential that exists at depth in a long strike. And that has yet to be evaluated. So uh, this is what's driving us as a, as a company to uh, go out there and, and develop it. One analyst was stating that you're basically in there to really explore, develop, and then sell it. Is that correct? Well, we're explorationists we're, and, and developers to a certain level. When it comes to actual mining, we tend to take it over to the next level where companies that are very capable of doing it step in. Okay, so I understand that there's a very aggressive timeline. So you guys have moved very quickly. Can you give us a bit of a timeline since you stepped in as CEO, Walter, on what's happened with Signature Resources? Since I became a CEO of Signature Resources, we consolidated the land package. So now it's 100% owned by Signature. There's four patented claims and 12 state claims. We have also gone back into the archived history of the, of the deposit and completed a program last fall of uh, about 3,300 meters of core relogging and sampling. Now, that, the sampling generated about 1,300 samples, which were processed, which uh, gave us the confidence level now that we need to go back in there and take this resource to compliance. All right, so what should we expect, say, in the next couple of quarters? So in the next couple of quarters, our plan is, well, in the first quarter is going to be focused on financing to the next level and once we achieve a certain threshold on that we plan to go back into the property and undertake an extensive drill program to bump up that resource. Well Walter thank you so much for joining us today it's been a pleasure. Thank you Tracy.